Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be reading in the scriptures, and I'm going to talk about a specific topic that is very important, and that topic is giving and receiving, and I want to also talk about takers, people who take, and they got their hand out. Who should we help? How should we help them? And what should happen if we are being um, manipulated or taken advantage of? What does the scripture say about it? I want to get into that today because it is very important that we give wisely. We want to put our seed in good ground. That's what the Lord uh, wants us to do because the Bible says, given it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give into your bosom. That's what the scriptures say. So we should be givers. And the Bible also says that it's more blessed to give than to receive. But who should we give to? How should we give? And what's the proper way that we should distribute God's money? I want to talk about this a little bit further in Scripture. And I'm going to be reading the book of Proverbs chapter 30 today. And we'll get into this a little bit further. And I believe that God has a word for you today. So Proverbs chapter 30. And I'm going to read verse 15. But before I jump into the Bible and do this devotional, if you have not subscribed to this channel and you are new, I encourage you to smash that subscribe button right now and jump on board. And if you could put a like on this video as well, I would greatly appreciate it and it would help this video out a ton and it would be a blessing to me. So anyway, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 15. What does it say? The horse leech hath two daughters crying, give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied, yea, four things say not, it is enough. Verse 16 of Proverbs 30 says this, these things aren't satisfied, the grave and the barren womb, the earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that saith not, it is enough. So what is the scripture talking about? Jumps right into something very important. It says, the horse leech hath two daughters crying, give, give. Now, what is a horse leech? You know, you know what a leech is? They're blood suckers. They want to drain you. This is what they do. And they keep going, give, give. They want more. They want more. This is what a leech is. Now, how does this pertain to scriptures? Well, it continues on if you read in verse 16. It says, first, it says, these things, the three things that are never satisfied, yea, four things say not enough. Say it is, it is an, say not, it is enough. What does verse 16 say? The grave and the barren womb, the earth that is not filled with water and fire that saith not, it is enough. The grave is never satisfied because people are dying and the graves are being filled all the time. <laughs> it's just the way it is, unfortunately. And the next thing is the, um, the barren womb is not satisfied because they want to give birth. <laughs> it's like they desire, they desire it. And then the third thing that's not satisfied is the earth that is not filled with water. Famines, the earth is desiring water. They want it, they want it, they want it. The earth needs the water. And then the fourth thing is fire that saith not, it is enough. The fire is going to consume anything around it. So it's desiring, it's wanting. So it's making a comparison from a leech, a horse leech that says give, give. It's like a barren wound. It's like a grave. It's like a fire. It's like um, all of these things. It's like the famine. It just wants and it'll take. So there are people out there that merchandise. People, they have their hand out. You know what they do? They want something from you. They expect you to give them something. They're always in need. There's never a, not a need. They always have need. The Bible says, I have been young and I'm old, yet I've not seen the righteous forsaking, nor a seed begging bread. The righteous don't beg. They don't go out saying, give, give. That's not what godly people do. The Bible says, I have not seen the righteous begging for bread. They're not always with their hand out all the time. Help me, help me. And what happens to people that start giving to these people who are they're greedy, they're selfish, they won't give to anybody. All they want to do is take. They don't do anything to contribute to anybody. All they want to do is gain more. And they criticize anyone who's you know, asking for a donation, like, you know, a, a ministry or, a, or whatever, the poor need something, oh, they'll criticize, but their hands are always out trying to take. They would never give to anybody, never give to anything. All they do is sit there and take advantage of your goodness. They cry, give, give. What do, what do leeches do? They suck you dry. 
They drain you. And what else happens? Here's a problem when you start giving to them. They're going to come with expectancy. They expect you to give them again. They expect more out of you. And you give to them and they want more. And you give to them they want more. And it becomes a vicious cycle. And what happens is, is they will say, I want this. They'll start saying, I want this from you. They don't even ask anymore. They're almost demanding it in a way. They expect you to give them something. Instead of working hard, and paying their own bills, meeting their own needs, they wanna drain someone else. There's two types of people, those who make deposits, those who make withdrawals. What does the scripture say? It is like a fire that just continues to consume everything. People who are selfish, this is what they do. They will come after you. So what do you do as a giver? You have to put your foot down. If you see someone trying to take advantage of your goodness, because that's what they'll end up doing, they'll take advantage. They don't care how much they drain you. Before long, they're using you. They don't care about anything but gaining something from you. And if they don't get it from you, then they get upset. But here's what you do. How do you handle it? We want to be givers, right? One, you always give to God because God... <laughs> He is your God. You always invest in the kingdom of God. You don't have to worry about God doing anything. You give to God, he's going to give it back to you in abundance. See, God is not like that. You give unto the Lord, he's going to bless you. He says he'll open up the windows of heaven. So you give to the Lord. If there's somebody who's poor, who's hurting, you give to them. If someone has a need, you help them. This is what we do. But when there's somebody who's either... I, they stay at home. They don't work. They, they expect the parents to pay for everything, pay their bills, pay it all, and then they just sit home. And you know what? It creates a vicious cycle. It, become, it becomes awful. And you know what? You help them, and they don't even use the money to meet their needs. They take the money and go out and spend it on their addiction, spend it on the, in the mall, spend it out having fun, going out to fancy places on your tab. This is what they do. And they're going to continue to do it until you put your foot down. What you tolerate, you will never change. What you won't confront, you won't change. They'll just keep doing it and doing it and, and doing it. And what you need to do is put your foot down in a nice way and say, the Lord is leading me. He's leading me not to continue to contribute because I feel that the Lord is leading me to invest in his kingdom and to invest into other areas. So I'm just going to obey the Lord. Sorry about that. You know what? They're going to get upset with you, some of these people, because their hand is out. They want your money. They want to withdraw from you. They want, 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 like leeches. And it's a problem. And we can stand up for ourselves and say, no more. This is the end. I can't do this anymore. And what happens? Sometimes they'll get mad. You may feel a little bit of pushback. But eventually, you are going to be free. You won't be in bondage. Because if you continue to allow them to do this and you don't stop, you become in bondage and slave to this person. And they begin to control you and drain you and tear you down. It's like an ATM machine. They keep withdrawing from you. I want to be around people who make deposits, not withdrawals. And I want to make deposits too in people's lives, you know? I like to treat. I like to give to people. I like to bless. But you know what? We can receive as well, but we don't want to have our hands out all the time. Because it says, I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed begging bread. <laughs> righteous aren't supposed to be putting their hand out because God meets their need. Here's another problem if you're helping these people. One, you're helping their addiction. Two, you're creating a vicious cycle. Three, what else happens? They don't depend on God anymore. You are now the one they depend upon. And that is not what God wants. What does it say in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 7 and verse 6? Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under feet and turn again and rend you. You give them money, you give them pearls, you bless them. These people who are like acting like swine, taking advantage of you, not following God's purpose and, their, and plan for their lives. And what happens? They get their hand out. And what do they want to do? When you give it to them and they're taking advantage of you, it says they're going to come back and do it again. They're going to trample it under their feet. They're going to squander it. They're going to do whatever. And they're going to come back and say, there's my, there's my uh, gold mine right there. There's my my money, I'm gonna merchandise them. I'll just keep on taking advantage of them. These types of people aren't in the will of God. These type of people are selfish. These type of people are not following God's will. They're in the flesh because this is not what Christians are supposed to be about, you know? So we're not supposed to give that which is holy unto the dogs. Don't cast your pearls before the swine. Can you help someone out? Absolutely. 
if somebody's in dire straits, of course, if you have the ability to do it, but there's a time and a place. You need to be led by the Spirit. Lord, should I continue to do this? Is this somebody who's putting their hand out like a horse leech saying, give, give? Is it somebody who just continues to take advantage of my goodness? You cannot allow that, beloved, because God wants you to put your seed in good soil. That's not good soil. You're giving to something and it's not going to bring you a harvest because you're you're actually enabling them to continue with their terrible habits. You see, this can happen real easy. We can all fall into this. I've seen it happen. It's happened to me. I've seen it happen to people in my church. I've seen it happen to people's lives. I've seen Christians doing this to people. I've seen people that they don't get up and get a job. They'll live in a home and they won't do anything. They'll just sit there with their hand out. And that's the life. It's They're living the life of luxury. And they're just sitting there and they're not getting any better. They're actually going to get worse. What we need to do is stand up and we need to give properly, but we need to use our common sense, do things right. If we're givers, we want to be a blessing, but we need to take God's uh, money. We need to be good stewards. The dispensation of God's money, his, his finances that he gives you, you need to sow in the good seed. God's going to reward you, but don't let people take advantage of you. Your goodness, if you're kind, you're a giver. God wants to bless you, but he also wants you to use your wisdom, and he will reward you. So don't cast your pearls before the swine. Give it when you see a good need. Give it to God and give it to the needs that are genuine, and the Lord will bless you. If this devotion encouraged you today, I encourage you to put a comment below. Again, subscribe to this channel, and I'll have another video up for you shortly. You have a great day. God bless.